Hey everybody, Carrie Cox here, live from my office. I'm excited we've been able, we've been working hard trying to get this all set up so that I can start seeing some of my patients in my home at my office here and be able to do some scanning. I do work, been working with most people online right now, phone calls, assessments, which is very easy to do and able to, you can even do Skype phone calls so I can be able to see you and you can see me and we can talk about what's going on. Um, being able to put supplement protocols together for people, fitness, eating plans, discussing, teaching. A lot of what I do with people is a lot of educating about the factors that play to them specifically. Foods or supplements they've been taking or environmental factors. There's a lot of different things that can come into play, which is some of what I want to talk about today is supplementing synthetic versus whole food and how do you even figure that out. So when it comes to synthetic versus whole food. Most supplement companies will tell you that they're whole food supplement. However, most supplement companies are going in and taking something from a whole food and they're only taking a splice of that whole food and putting it into the supplement on high doses. A lot of that has to do with the FDA, the regulations they have there is how to be able to measure it, you have to be able to single it out and actually do the measurements on it. So a lot of them want to be able to put that they have a high dosing. So sometimes that's a factor behind it. But when you take a supplement or you take a specific mineral or vitamin and you high dose it, you turn it into something synthetic. And there are factors that it can impact negatively when it comes to the body and how it absorbs that vitamin or mineral and other factors that can come into play. There's cofactors and so, unknown factors. We're still from the beginning of time till now, till way past, I'm sure. We're going to have things that keep coming in that, oh, you need this to be able to absorb that. And if you don't have this in it or in the supplement or in the body, it can't be absorbed. So it just goes in and it can cause congestion within the bloodstream, which is also a very big negative. We don't want congestion going on in the bloodstream. Our bloodstream is like a railroad system taking people and dropping them off and coming back and picking up new things and taking back. When you start clogging it up with people or too many trains, nothing's moving. Nobody's getting to where they need to go to nourish and properly support everything. So <clears throat> we don't want the bloodstream to be congested with incomplete proteins and vitamins and minerals that can't get pushed to where they need to go. That's a very big deal and a huge part of why it can be helpful or hurtful. So we don't want to congest bloodstream. We want to make sure things are absorbing. That's why getting it from an actual whole food where they've just ground down what we're needing into a supplement and you're taking it helps. And a lot of times it comes down to people just aren't eating their foods, the right foods, have the right nourishment in them, and it's not getting in their diet. And to make it simpler for them, that's why we have the supplements. The supplements themselves make it easy to specify the specific things that we're missing and get them in there and get it to where we can balance things out. Now we come into another factor of herbs versus plant versus glandular and organs and all those things. Um, I do standard process itself. Standard process does organ and glandular mix in with some of the plant-based plant things. itself is meant, you do have minerals and vitamins in the plants themselves, but due to the fact of where our systems are set up, most people's digestion does not get that in and broken down properly. Most of us have issues with the gut and because of that, we don't have enough acidity and enzymes and things like that. Not to mention that plant a lot of times put out toxins to keep you from eating them. And then you have toxicity that the body has to deal with. Sometimes that can be beneficial because it, it forces the body into a cleanup. And there are certain places you've got to put that in play. And that's why you come to see someone like me or a nutritionist. Somebody who has a good education on how those things go into play and when you apply them and when you don't apply them. Because sometimes we can end up over applying, over pushing the body with the plant and then we can cause what's considered a cytokine storm. The body's freaking out. We've got the immune system on high alert. We basically overstimulate the body with the plants, with injury to tissue within the body that excites everything. The immune system starts going nuts. 
Um, you need to be able to have your immune system be nourished. The immune system, or some people call it an immune system alliance, is made out of many different things. Your liver, your spleen, your thymus. There's just all sorts of things that are in there. And having those actually have the amino acids needed to rebuild and support it is key. Sometimes we just overwork it where it's like whipping a tired horse and we never feed it, give it water. So we just keep whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, and therefore it eventually gives up on us. That's why organ and glandular are beneficial is they give us the amino acids needed specifically to rebuild those organs and systems, which is very key for supporting the entire so music. all in all, when it comes down to it, there's a lot to manage. You really should get someone who understands what they're doing to help you know when to apply it and even having testing being done. Um, then you also, quality of what you're putting in your body is very clear. You need to have organic. You don't want anything with glyphosate aspects happening. You don't want something that's been filled with toxins themselves that now you're going to have them. You do have your detoxifying organs. They can deal with that, but still we don't want to overload the body with any of those things. So quality, knowing when to apply, understanding fully what's going on and how it applies to each organ and system. Hence why there's a lot of information now. It's just best to get yourself some help and get someone who understands all the different aspects of how to apply and when. But food can be a great aspect of helping the body to rebuild and to restore itself. So I'm going to leave you with this. It's just a little bit more information. I will keep doing the education. If there's anything you guys want to know about, let me know in the comments below. Give me your feedback. Um, I urge you all go to utahfoundationalnutrition.com. Take a survey. Let me help you figure out where to start where maybe your foundational issues are. Make sure that if you're going to someone else, they have an understanding and have some applied aspects that they've learned. They understand the different things and different factors that come with organs and systems and what can impact them. But I hope you all get up and do, take control of your life, take control of your health. I'm excited to work with those of you who want to reach out and take the survey and let's get things going. Have a good day.